Hi friends, welcome back to my crafty desk. Sandra here at Blossom Mand Inspire, yay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm getting really goofy. I am just, <laughs> I have a lot going on. I hope everyone's having a great day. I'm having a great day and I want to share my great day with you. Um, <laughs> I am really super extra kooky right now. I have so much going on. I am literally dreaming bizarre stuff. So it's so bizarre, bizarre, how bizarre, how bizarre, how bizarre. <laughs> Anyways, uh, back to the program. I seen, um, who was it? Who was it? Natasha at Treasured Books. She was making these super cute. I don't remember how long ago I watched this video, but I had saved it. And I was like looking through some things and I thought, oh my gosh, I want to make these. And I didn't make them before last year because I didn't do a Christmas tree. Was it last year when I seen the video? I don't even remember. Oh my gosh. Slow down. <laughs> I have not had extra caffeine. I just have a lot on my mind. So I made one. I wanted to see, can I do it first before I uh, do this? So let's see. Cute, isn't it? So, I mean, she said on her video, she was like, you can make dangles with them and different things for your books. It's a, um, and I agree with her, it's a little bit big and heavy for a journal to in the middle, but on the outside of it, I think it would be so cute to be hanging and then they can take it off and have a an ornament. So I went and pulled what I have available to me to use for this project. Buttons, um, Some I have some of these strings, I even have some twine. It's, I think it's kind of big. Some of these holes are big, I could use it. I don't think I'm gonna use it because I don't, I have this and it worked. It worked great and I liked it. Um, kite string, I have some kite string. I think that would look also very nice. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I don't know why I call it kite string, but that's what I always think of. So I always call it, whenever I see it, I'm like, oh, there's kite string. It's not kite string. It is embroidery thread, I think. Yeah, knit and crochet yarn. I guess it's, it's, it's um, crafty stuff. So, but if I say kite string again during the video, please know I'm talking about these little spools. Oh, uh, well, let's show you. So I have this really pretty cool gold and cream. It's sparkle. And this one is, I guess that would be cream with gold. And this is gold on gold and sparkle. So that's like extra, yay. And then look what, I didn't even remember I had this. It is the Christmas colors. So how fancy. And then there's red. I have green. I mean, I have different ones. Plus, hello, I could always just use my embroidery threads. Oh my gosh. I know, someone's down there going, hey Sandra, don't remember, you remember that big basket you have filled with that stuff? Use it up, girl. Use it up. So let's see. I think for this one, I'm going to go. I'm going to do this one. So back track. Here we go. I have buttons. I have strings. I have, I don't have a needle. I have some wax. I have first before I get into the wax. The first thing I ever used was candles because that's what I had available. Then I bought some beeswax on Amazon and I still have that, it's somewhere here. But in one of my recent hauls, I found this little thing for, it's a wax, it's a wax round and it's inside this fancy little, fancy, look at that, isn't that fancy? So I'm gonna use this because I could just run my string through and it helps me, um, much easier to use. I have some of these little things, uh, what are they called? Um, they're the bead caps. I think that's what they're called. Yay, yay for me, I, I remember something. I do have some, I'm gonna use them. Um, I have some beads here and I have some space, I have some beads here and I have some spacers in here. So um, thanks to Broken, or to Pirate Booty and to Deb. I have enough stuff here to do these with. Thank you, Deb. Because Deb, if you remember, has this is a recent one, more buttons, and these aren't just buttons. When I went through that, oh my gosh, sidetrack city. So this, these are filled with like their color coordinated bags of yumminess. Like there's sparkle, there's uh, brads, there's buttons, there's there's a lot of different things in here. So. I need to um, open these up. So I brought the colors, not this one. I, this, see, I'm still stuck in orange and black. Black is good to use for the Christmas trees that we're gonna make, but these colors will also work. And I'm just kind of getting them in their little containers here. Anyhow, and some beads also. This was in that pack too, and I thought this would be really pretty. So, but it's got some of those pinks, and I need to use those for me because I'm making myself something too. Anyways, anyways, um, I have, so what Natasha said she did is she took six buttons 
of the same color. She used all the same size, but I ran out of the same size on the ones that I was looking for originally in my brown buttons. And these are black, and I also have black buttons, but I thought I'd do some in brown. And what she did is she took them to make the little tree stump, she took the buttons and she put them on top of each other so that they laid flat. If they had like a rounded edge, like, I don't know if you can see, but that has a little bit of a, like, you know, like a little bubbly thing there. So instead of, I guess you can do it whichever way you like, but if you lay them front to front, I mean, depending on the button, I mean, you're just gonna have to play with your buttons, my friends, to figure that out, I think. I hope you understand what I'm saying. I couldn't find a bubbly button to work with here. What? I really wanted to. Okay, these are bubbly kind of, I think. So like, see how there's an, a, a ledge, an edge, a ledge, a recessed area there. So if I lay them like this, then they fall into the pattern of the tree. Do you see what I'm saying? To have it separated out so that it looks like it's something different when she made them, and I think this is part of it. I'll link her video because she definitely explains her process much better than I do. And let's see. So if I took them and I flipped them, you know, recessed to recessed, then do you see how it makes that little, where you can see the buttons set themselves apart. It just gives it, it's a little extra detail. You don't have to do it. They look fine the other way as well. It's up to you, whatever you like. Um, and then she lays out her buttons and she decides like how she's going to put them together, um, large at the bottom and working its way up. Some of them are the same size. Oh, I don't know if I'm all the way on the camera with these, my button layout here that I have. And I knew to this, my friends, so um, bear with me. <laughs> I feel like even if I wasn't new, it would still be like, bear with me, please. So I have all these cool buttons and I, I have them laid out. She, I think, had a lot more on hers, which you can do as well. I'm finding that about the 10 button area, 10 to 12 buttons is where I'm finding my little tree. Now, at the end of it, I, I took a bead. I took a bead cap, a bead, a bead cap, and then a little tiny bead to top it off. And there we go. So let's mix. Let's make some. First things first. What did I say I was going to use? I want to use, I want to do, I want to do this purple and yellow and like burgundy one here. This string, I have no idea how much to get. I'm gonna grab my Debbie Snips here and give it a little snippity snip. And then I will show you on this thingy. If you've never seen one, I'm, I'm sure everybody's seen, seen one of these, haven't you? I never did until now, so maybe you haven't either. So isn't this cool? You lay your string down. I think I'm doing it right. I kind of pull a little hard, so I, I pull this apart, but it, it gets an, a lot of wax on there. I love it. This is gonna really help me with other projects but it definitely helps. It definitely helps with this project. Oh my gosh. Slur your words much, Sandra? I promise I've only had one cup of coffee. <laughs> oh my gosh. See, so, not that coffee makes me slur, but it makes me go like, like oh my gosh, so fast. So then I'm gonna go ahead and, and I have some glue on, or not glue, wax. I'm gonna go ahead and give these another snip. And I, from my days being a florist, I learned snipping at an angle helps to thread things. You may have already known that, but if you didn't, you do now. So what uh, Natasha also does is she says the easiest way to do the buttons is to have one side longer than the other. It makes it much more easier to thread your buttons. So I'm gonna start with, let's see, let's just do this one. I ran out of all the same sizes, so I'm gonna make my tree stump, I'm gonna try this and see if it works. So I'm gonna go, um, and the reason why she said two different ones, cause trying to get these in at the same time is not that easy. So see, I dropped one in and then I go in the other one. Since there, whoops, since there's four holes, we're gonna go on the diagonal and then where's your piece? And then I'm gonna face this one against it so that they sit like that, nice and flat. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna put this one on with the front facing the top like that and then the, this other one facing down and there we have that and then it gives that tiny little gap so it sets them apart and you can see that there's like a little decorative thing going on here with the trunk trunk the tree trunk that's what I was trying to think of and then this these ones are just a tad bit smaller 
but I was running out of beads and I want so I just mixed up my sizes a little bit and I'm gonna see if that works. I think it will. I mean, whoops. Tree trunks go get smaller, don't they? Or see, they're the same size. That's not gonna, see what I'm saying? Trying to get those in at the same time. Whoops, whoopsie do. Oh my gosh, I'm in serious need of a manicure between all this cra extra crafting, my cuticle issues, and dry skin with all the extra hot water I'm using on my hands to keep them warm. The, uh, and the chalk paint. <laughs> yeah, I think that's fine. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some more wax on this because... That's another thing, too, is I like this. I can just drop more wax on. It's so easy. The other ways are easy, too. It's just it's just fun to have a fancy little tool. Sometimes it's fun. Sometimes it's irritating. But <laughs> sometimes I think I want it, and I realize I didn't really want it. Kind of like that guillotine thing. I don't think I'm ever going to use that big guillotine thing. It doesn't, I can't, I can't figure out how to make it work. And then this one is pretty cool. So I have to decide like how I want my tree to lay. Like, do I want it to be nice and flat or do I want it to be kind of bubbly? I'm gonna try bubbly and see if I like it. So just in the, in, in the holes they go. This one I also did some mixed metals with it. Um, I just love metal. I love metal and I love mixed metals. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like this. I know, I'm kind of like, I really like this button because I like the whole thing of it. Now that's going to be kind of hidden with my tree, but you know what? Look at all my buttons. I can't I can't keep saving things to use later because every time that later comes, I think, oh, wait, but I might like it better here. And I need to stop doing that and use this stuff up. I will not remember having it anyways once it's gone because I, and I know that because I don't even remember having it when I pull it out. I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot all about you. So just keep going. See how we like it. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. And you can turn them any which way you want, I think. I don't think there's really too many rules. Um, she said the main thing was to go up in size so that your tree had that natural, you know, chubby at the bottom. And then chubby at the bottom and, you know, tapering up to the top. Oh, my gosh. that I love that purple one. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Do you go there? Oh, my gosh. I'm getting them all mixed up. <laughs> oh, man. I'm telling you, I have so many different projects going on at one time and not, and no one th project is finished. I actually, okay, so I like that. I think I could probably get away with another bead if I can find a really tiny one. I, did those. I just want a really tiny one. I wonder, I think, oh, I want to say I had a bag of pink and purples. Oh, here's a purple. Is there a good, is there a little purpley one in here that would work? I don't know. I want it to be more like a burgundy purple. Ruh row. I don't want to. I'm never going to get them back in. Okay, here you go. Just go nice and. Whoops. Slow and steady. Fast and furious makes a mess. So I'm going to go slow and steady. All right, and the tortoise one. All right, what I'm looking for, I have my little my little thing of purple colors. I would like to have like one more, that's really teeny tiny, I wonder if that would work. You can try it. Let's see, faith. Faith on getting this in there. I think I can do it. But the only way to find out is to try. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited. I um, don't know if I ever told, I think I did. I talked about this, my, oh yes, I did. The calendar, my calendar, my um, per, 
is it perpetual? Perpetual? The calendar that goes on forever? Okay, I'm not going to be able to do that, so I'm not going to keep struggling. Um, I was hoping to have one more little tiny button, but that's okay. I don't have it. I don't, I, I don't have one um, that I can see at the moment. But anyhow, the one that I love, the Louise Hay, if you don't know who she is, she's, I love her, um, stories. I like, uh, um, she's, you know, her books, they've helped me a lot in my life. So I really do like, it. and anyways, all of that is to say, tell you that I'm so excited about getting the calendar and I got them and I, they came on sale and now I know that they're never going to be cheaper than that <laughs> because I learned that last year and I was able to get them. And this is a calendar that I buy for myself. Where'd my other little thing go? That I buy for myself. I think what I did here, and I did a little flat one. That's okay, I don't need that. Um, I buy for myself. Hello, Sandra, you already said that. And I also buy it for my daughters, daughters, daughters-in-law, daughters-in-love, I mean. My daughters, and I buy it for, um, yes. So, anyhow, I got the email from the company, of course, and got the sale price, and I was like, I seen it, and I was like, oh my gosh, they're on sale. I was at, upstairs with my husband, and Jason goes, well, you better get them. <laughs> you better do it right now. Don't do it like last year. <laughs> so I'm so excited. So we all get our calendars, our fun calendars. It's the little desk one that you just rip off, and you have, and she has a positive affirmation. Louise Hay passed away, but they continue the calendar thing, and I love it. But um, they they you get a positive affirmation every single day and i just absolutely love it now what do we need we need to get this done oh my gosh there we go so i'm going to stick my now i'm going to push those little pieces together and i'm going to go through that little hole there which I don't know why I pushed them together. Backtrack again. I did this. I did one at a time. I didn't think I was going to be able to, but I p pulled one through. Okay, got to use all my fingers here. And then I just held it down. I don't know if you can see that. So I took these two pieces and I pulled them and then held them down. And then I stuck this in here which I'm surprised I'm able to do this with my hands. So if I wasn't, I'd be using the assistance of a pair of pliers. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put that on. I wanna get a bead on there. So let's find a cute bead. Oops. I keep grabbing. Just so you know, these little dishes, they're clear. I like them because I can see through them. They're plastic. There's four of them in a set, and I get them at the Dollar Tree, and I love these. They work really good for holding stuff. I can stack my dishes, and I can go put them someplace instead of, and I can still see that I have a stack of dishes. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do, oh, I have two different ones that I wanna play on here. Oh, maybe three. Okay, goodness, goodness. So, let's see, I can either go this, oops, this gold button, or this gold bead. Lordy, let me put this down so we can all see. I can do that one. It gets another piece of gold on there. Or I've got this clear one, whoops, which is gonna be encased with the gold, right? So. Oh, I kinda like that. It's got an iridescentness to it. And then there's this cool black one, which there is some black on there. Nope, don't want that one. Okay, so let's just drop this. I'm gonna do the clear one. It's got that little bit of the iridescent, so I just feel like it has that little bit of, um, oh man. So the other string that I used, just so you know, the other kite string, the floss or whatever it was, it wasn't kite string, it was actual thread. Well, I don't know what it is, it's this stuff. It is thinner a little bit than this. So let's see if I can get both of these through there because I really need them both. Woohoo, success. Right on. And then I'll put this little end cap, bead hugger. It's a bead hugger. Yeah, I'm gonna change the words. I like that, bead hugger. Who doesn't wanna be hugged? I wanna be hugged. Okay, well actually I do have friends that are like, don't hug me. <laughs> I am not a touchy filly person, but. And I do like that where I had that little ball at the very end and I just, this is from the necklace that I just recently um, broke apart. Do I have another one of those cute little 
gold balls. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, maybe I didn't even bring it over here. Who knows? Oh, there, there's one right there. See, just a little tiny one. I'm gonna try this again. Yes. Wow, I'm on a roll. Sheesh, look at that. I'm gonna go buy myself a lotto ticket. <laughs> oh. And then, um, let's see, we take, we make our little thing, right? And then we go like this. And I'm only gonna put the one knot, even though it's seen as a little bit loosey, but that's okay. And then up here, I'm just going to pull that through and I'm just gonna make a knot and just let it, you know, just kind of decide like where I want it in there. I always want to make them long enough so that somebody can make it shorter, but um, you know, you know what I mean? So there we go. And then I'm just going to give that a little snip. And we got some little extra thingies there that hopefully I would use, and but we never know. It might end up in the garbage. So cute. What do you think? I like that. And let's make, let's go ahead and just put, pop this um, red one here, this red and white and silver one. Um, Oh, which way? Where, where did you go? See, look at me. I'm just mixing the buttons up. Like I've got all the time in the world. Dun, 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 dun. What color should we use? Should we do the red and green one? There's no green in this. It's just red and white. I feel like if I do a red one or a white one, then we can use this different times of the year. But it's a Christmas tree, right? So I don't know. Um, yeah, let's do, let's do the red. Oh, nope, I don't like that red. <laughs> do this one um, or I guess I could do the silver hello there's also silver in this whoops yeah let's do the silver okay well look what I did so I need to be careful I'm gonna because this has an actual harder edge I'm not gonna wax it this is pretty this is more stiff let's see if that works get the tree trunk on. So I'm thinking that this, I've got a fat, a pretty large base. I think my tree trunk needs to be a little bit more substantial. So I need to find buttons that are the similar in size, hopefully same color, but similar in size. Oh, look at that one. Wouldn't that be cute? Just, that would be a big tree, wouldn't it? Oh, what else am I going to do with that big giant button? Heck yes. Heck, heck yes. Okay, let me see. Let me get on my Christmas trees here. Okay, so time to pick the trunk. Should I just do a blue trunk? No. Will I have to? I don't know. Is that two? No, that's good. So one, two, three. I need six. One, two, three. No, that's just gonna, this is just gonna, that's actually kind of greenish. Oh, well maybe look in the greens. Hello. So one, two, three. I have three there. I have four. One. Oh, wrong size. One. Well, dang it. There's some brown buttons right here. Okay. I found some brown buttons. I just have no place to dump. Brown button, brown button. Where are you? Why can't I just find? A... I just want six that are same size and similar color. I'm giving up identical cover, but color, cover. I'm giving up identical color, but I do need, I, I need the size to be the same. There we go. Now, I've got my stuff all mangled here again. Nothing new for me. But I just need six of these, so we're gonna go, I think we're gonna use those two. And then, I don't know if you can see this, we're gonna use these right here, and then these right here, similar in size, the size is very close, and the style is very close. Um, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one are pretty different. These ones are, I think they're the same, Thing. There we go. But they're a little bit smaller, but that'll work. It's what we did on the other one, so I'm, I feel confident with that. Now, did anybody see my string? <laughs> what, what in the world? 
Okay, we'll just, did I even cut it off? I think I, I I'm pretty sure I did. But. Okay, well, we'll just get another one. So here we'll go um, with the Debbie Sniffs here. And that one's already cut. Now we just need to get the, the bottom, my tree trunk. Let's get the tree trunk going. Tree trunk. We'll start with this one here. And we're gonna go two different lengths. Oh gosh. There we go. Whoops. Gosh, I'm so loud. I am so sorry, my friends. No one's ever complained about me hurting their ears, and I just want to say I am so sorry if I have done that. I know normally it doesn't bother me, but if I have my headset in and I'm listening to someone, like if I'm doing something and um, like if I'm when I'm at the gym, sometimes I'll try to listen to a video. I, it's hard for me to do it at the gym because I want to watch too, <laughs> and I can't stop working out. So kind of defeats the purpose. But um, anyways, when I have my headset in, that's when I'm like, oh my gosh, that was loud. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what was she thinking? <laughs> I'm like, oh, she's probably thinking the same thing I was. I'm in a hurry or I'm in a, I'm in a zone. I'm just like, and I'm a tosser. I watch some people and they're not tossers. They're just like setting their things down ever so gently and so sweet and delicate, putting it away, being careful. Not me, I'm like throwing things. I was like, I remember once um, when I had the flower shop, my friend Julie, who was working with me, she was like, whoa, you really do throw those things. <laughs> She's like, how did those, how did those clippers get all the way over there, up there? And I was like, oh no, I'm really throwing things today. I need to settle down. It's an accident waiting to happen. Anyways, I always knew I was a thrower, but until I started doing the videos, I was like, w and then watching them, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm surprised I haven't like seriously hurt myself. But I mean, danger zone. I'm liking this. I'm wondering if I should have put a little bit more. No, I've got metal sporadically throughout here. So I couldn't remember if I had this one going on top or on the bottom. I think I did the white first, yes. Oh, geez. My fingers did not want to let that go. And then I think I had, I'm gonna try it. I might have to take this off, but I think I'm gonna try it this way. So just remember, if it's the four, you go on the diagonals to keep it in there. And then This is actually so easy. The hard, the hardest part for me so far is finding my tree trunk. Um, it did take me a little bit of time to like dissect my buttons to see who I wanted to be on here. And I really wanted this white and metal one to be showing. But then I want that little one at the very end. And I think this little one will still show a little bit of that way, I think. I think, I think, I hope. Uh, no, it doesn't really, but I mean, kind of, a tiny bit. That's okay, it's good enough for me. And I think this time we should do the um, silver. Okay. Got that one on. So I don't think it's, I think it's the um, type of thread that I'm using this time, like that. Oh, look at it, stripping it down. Whoa. It stripped it. So this one's gonna be a little bit short. That's the way it's gonna be. I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna just try to get these together. I really want an end cap or a hugging, a hugger. Okay, my friends. Apparently I am struggling and I have to go to work, so. But let's find our little bead on top. I wish I could do this one right here. Oh, well, I guess that's purple. There was, I think there was like this really, yeah, this one right here. Isn't that pretty? So I wanna put that one on there. I felt like I needed that end cap. Well, let me just try this. End cap, I don't know what I'm calling it that. That's a store thing. I uh, lost my bead. This string, the, the silver foil one is not my friend. 
with those um, metal with these metal pieces right here because they're grabbing them and they're shredding it and if I keep doing this I'm not gonna have any more <laughs> string left <laughs> oh my gosh so we'll just do one without and we'll see I'm gonna, I just wanted to get this together so that you can see it, but I'm going to restring this because I don't even have enough here to make a, a hangy thingy. But, see, I mean, I guess I could, but it's kind of tiny. I feel like the bigger it is, I mean, I should still, I, feel, I really like that. I like that big giant base. I think I could have still used more buttons, but I don't think I have to. It's so cute, so cute. So here you go. These are my little ones that I made, my friends. I hope that you like this video of making these. I will link Natasha's video on there. Whoops, what to me. There we go. What do you think? I think they're fun. I think they're fun and they're cute. I'm gonna make some more of these. I hope that you make some too or you have some things or if there's other items to use to make these, let me know because I wanna keep playing. They're fun and it's a great way to use these things up. So I will see you on the next video. Enjoy all your moments. Bye.